Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie. For those who are new to my channel, our Lord asked me to do a video each day, so I do. I wait upon Him, what His Spirit will reveal to me to share in these videos for those whom He knows will be watching them. And He's been doing a new thing, He's been giving me a message each day. It's from Father's heart to yours for you personally he's doing it now for those who are new to my channel the lord calls me messenger it's not something i called myself he calls me messenger he gives me these messengers i simply in obedience to him share them with his children by unction of his spirit they're changing lives they're touching lives He's doing an amazing work through these videos <clears throat> to his children. For those whom he knows, we're watching them. And I can... That's the power of God that has come upon you, me now. And Holy Spirit, I ask that the power of God come upon all those who are watching this video. Oh my goodness, what he's doing through these videos. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Just touch all right now. There's no distance in the Spirit. Just have your way. Come upon them now, Holy Spirit. Help them to yield their hearts. Surrender their hearts. Submit their hearts to you. So you can move in their hearts and in their lives. So Father's will and His purposes can be made manifest to His glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just have your way. <laughs> Oh, which he is. He is amazing. It's a Holy Spirit ministry. He leads, he guides. I yield to him. He only does what the Father shows him, shows me. I do what I'm obedient to him. It's that simple. But yes, he's reminding me there's a lot of training. <laughs> there was a little boot camp. <laughs> it might seem simple. Um, but there was a lot of training and preparation he's done in me to to do what he's asking me to do now. Which he does to all of us. Before he releases us to do something, he takes us through his boot camp, Holy Spirit, boot camp, training grounds. He'll prepare us. He'll train us up where we should go. So I was given another message this morning as I waited upon the Lord. He tells me these messages are continuation, a continuing message from him. So from one day to the next, he will give a message, continuing from the day before. So I encourage you to watch to watch yesterday's message and then the day before and the day before and the day before because it's all one long message from the Father's heart to your heart. Just ask Holy Spirit, which message should you be listening to first and work your way through them? He's speaking to you. All right. Holy Spirit, you're moving already. I can feel you're moving. You're so incredibly beautiful. I think that you've touched all those who are watching right now to receive this message. I take authority over anything of the realms of darkness, wherever you've been attached to following, no matter where you're lodged, no matter where you're hiding, and bind you with a free cord, bound from hindering, distracting, and trying to prevent or hin um, block this child of God right now from hearing this message from the Father's heart to theirs. You demons, you'll be still, I command it in the name of Jesus. You'll leave them. When they get a truth, I command you leave them. No matter where you're hiding, you'll leave them. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Barbara, I thank you for your holy angels that are with all your children who are watching to ensure they fulfill their destiny, the, the good works that you prepared beforehand that they should do and walk in them. Thank you, Lord. All right, let's continue with the message for today. Absolutely amazing what he's doing. It really is. It's amazing. And again, I say this, I do these messages in a good, healthy dose of the fear of the Lord. They're from him. And I 
I'm accountable to him to make sure I, I share them. So his children, which is you, are blessed to receive his heart. So he will minister to your heart while I'm, while I'm reading these words out, which come by him, from him, through his spirit. So again, though you may, I say this in most of my videos now, though you see me, please receive it from him. All right. Enable them to do so, please, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. As I waited on the Lord this morning, His glory is really strong today. If you are new to the glory of God, it's like a, it's almost like a weight. It's His manifest presence. It's extra strong today. So. Please receive this from him. As I waited on our Lord this morning, I was given a message from the Father's heart to yours. That's what he's let me know what these messages are. They're from his heart to your heart. These messages are a continuation from the day before. My child, did I not say Lean not upon your own understanding. He said that in the prior message. <laughs> it comes on Proverbs 3, 5. That it's lean not upon your own understanding, but trust in the Lord of all your heart. That I understand and see all. Look to me. It's important to know what is your attention on. If the Lord is saying, look to me, it means we're looking to something else. We need to look to him, put our attention onto him. Trust me with all your heart. You only see in part. I see what lays ahead. I see. I know. And I can do something about it if you turn to me. Now, when he said that, um, the verse came to mind, Matthew 6, from 25 to 34. Do not worry. Do not worry about your clothing, what you eat, drink, your finances. Don't worry about any of it. Don't look at those things. He really knows what you need. You ask for it. You thank him for it. Look to him. Oh, please hear his heart. I'm speaking to us, to a small child, for you are my beloved child. See how tenderly I speak. With much love and concern for your well-being, I know the bigger picture. Why look elsewhere? Now when he said that, he brought to mind <laughs> in 1 Samuel 13, how King Saul, um, in fear, foolishly um, did not obey God and did an, an offering to him out of fear. So he didn't obey God. He heard the word of God. He heard what he said and he said to wait for him till his prophet came. Saul was fearful of the enemy, looked at the enemy rather than look at God and out of fear did something that caused him to lose the kingdom. That's what came to mind when he spoke this. So I'm going to speak it again. I know the bigger picture. Why look elsewhere? Why listen to what man says who does not speak by my spirit? Who does not have my heart? Who does not know or understand as I do? I desire to reveal more to you. Jeremiah 35, 33, 3 came to mind. But you are not hearing. If we're not hearing, we're not listening, are we? 
too many other voices are speaking to you. I'm not pushy. Oh, he's so gracious to us. I will not push in, but wait until you have turned and seek me diligently. I hear your heart, my child. I speak to you through your heart. Believe me, and greater things you shall do. Believe me, and enter my rest. His rest is a, is, is a completeness. A fulfilling of all works. A ceasing from our works. Believe me, and I'll make a way for you. Now understand when he's given me these messages, he'll give he'll he can give me images, visions, understanding scripture. As he gives me as I hear the words, he brings more to me and understanding of what he's saying. So when he said that I'll make a way for you, what I heard was out of problems, out of a situation, I even heard a family curse, demonic oppression. He can make a way when there seems to be no way. So we put our trust in him. <laughs> I can make a way when there seems to be no way. I'm speaking to you as my child. I am I'm speaking so you understand. Turn and look to me. Seek me with all your heart. So when he said that, I felt his love for you and I saw um, an image of tears falling from someone's face. He's weeping. He loves you. I know what you need. I desire to bless and multiply you. That means you and your household. I desire for you to have peace and have good things. To see you smile. And and when I heard that, it was like I heard I, I was like it was like I could see into someone's heart and see their heart smile. It's it's more stronger within the heart than what is it is a facial smile. It's a smile in the heart. And give me thanks for what I've done. What are you looking at? Will it help you apart from me? I tell you, it may fleetingly satisfy, but I know what you need eternally. Seek me before all else, and these things shall be added to you. Matthew 6.33 came to mind. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Seek me first. I know you love me, my child. Do you know me as your loving father? Do you know me as your, the lover of your soul? Do you not yet know my love for you? I gave my son's life for your life. I laid him down in my heart for you. I love you. I knew you before the foundations of the earth were formed. You, my child, have always been in my heart. I knew you before you came into existence. I chose you. I formed you in your mother's womb. I knew your days. Are they not written? And when he said that, I knew there was a book. That has written all the days of our lives. It was I who revealed myself to you through my son. 
so you would know me. Know me, my child, because I know you. Okay, this is Holy Spirit moving me. This is the love of the Father I can feel for you. Holy Spirit, please minister to all those who are watching their hearts. Anything of doubt, unbelief, anything that would hinder them from hearing the Father's heart for them to be removed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is important to the Father because you're important to him. I yearn for you. Will you yearn for me with all your heart? See how plainly I speak? And, and I knew he meant as to a child. See how I speak for my servant? Which I think he's referring to me. Such is my desire for you. Turn and look to me within your heart. It is your heart I'll speak to. Lay down what you thought I was like and receive my Father's love for you. Yes, I am God. And when, I, when he said that, I heard it is who I am, he said. But my child, I'm also your papa. Who desires to hold you close to his heart. I won't push in. God waits for us. He doesn't push in. It's the enemy that pushes in and shoves and intrudes. God doesn't. He waits. He's so beautiful. He waits patiently for us to turn to him. Turn and look to me. Seek me with all your heart. And you'll find what you have seek you have been and you will find what you have been seeking for all your life. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Turn and look to me. So Father is saying that. We're not looking to him. We haven't turned to him. He's speaking to you. What are you looking at and what have you turned to? Turn and look to him. Seek me with all your heart and you'll find what you have been seeking for all your life, which is him. It's signed, I am what you are searching for, Abba Father, God. Now I'm going to put below the description of this, down there, this, this message from Father's heart to yours, so you can read it yourself, you can wait on him and what he's speaking to you personally through this message. But I feel to share with you a couple of verses. As well. Romans 10, 9 to 10. That if you confess with your mouth. Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart. That God raised him from the dead. You'll be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness and justification. And with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. The heart is a place of belief. 
In this message, he said he's speaking to our hearts, the place of belief. To believe in him. He's talking to us, to our hearts. Pass our intellect. Pass our understanding. Pass all that strict to the heart. He's speaking to the place of belief. In Hebrews 4, 9 to 10, I would actually encourage you to read um, Hebrews 4 from 1 to 16. If you get time, read the whole thing. But I'm just, just for now, I'm just going to read 9 to 10. There remains therefore a rest for the people of God. For he who has entered his rest, God's rest, has himself also ceased from his works as God did from his, those who believe. Those who believe. When you believe in him, you enter his rest. It's a ceasing from your works, a ceasing from striving and struggling and trying to work it out. There's a rest. There's a peace. When you believe in him, trust him. There's a rest. Now I'm going to read all of this out. Holy Spirit, please open their understanding, open the eyes of their heart, and have a revelation as I speak this out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ephesians 1, 17 and 23. It was a prayer. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, hallelujah, may give to you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation in the knowledge of him, in the knowledge of the Father. I pray that the eyes of your heart, place of belief, may be enlightened, given heavenly understanding, wisdom, revelation in your heart. So you will know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe? Those, these are in accordance with the working of the strength of his might, his power, which he brought about in Christ. When he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places. And we're seated with our Lord Jesus in this heavenly places as well. Raised with him. Resurrection life. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this age but also in one to come. Name above all names. And he put all things in subjection under his feet. Hallelujah. And gave him his head over all things to the church. Which is his body. Which is us. The fullness of him who fills all in all. Hallelujah. Let that, let that prayer go forth far before who are watching right now. The eyes of our heart. Being opened. Our understanding enlightened to the revelation, the wisdom of the Father. Have a revelation of the wisdom of the Father, who He is. Of the power toward us who believe. Holy Spirit, that raised Lord Jesus up from the dead. That place of belief, your heart, you meant to guard your heart with all diligence. For out of it flows the issues of life. What's in your heart will come out of your mouth. What you believe in here will come out. <laughs> believe in him. Trust in him. Read that message below the description of this video. Read the message. Hear the Father's heart to your, to your heart. He's speaking to you for your heart. He's not going to do it for your intellect and your understanding of theology and this is what 
your your understanding about him. He's going straight to the heart. So you can bypass all that. You just listen to him from your heart. Yield in your heart to the Spirit of God. Holy Spirit who's with you, he's the power to what I see believe. And hear this message from him. You have a hope in him. This is Father reaching for you. He's reaching out to you. Because he loves you. Speaking to you with much care, much love to his beloved child. I think it's very precious what he's doing sharing these messengers. It's very precious what he is doing. But do understand you are precious to him. You're important to him. He chose you. You're wanted. You're his beloved. The apple of his eye. He'll leave the 99 go test up to you. He knows what you're going through. And I'm hearing demonic oppression, uh, finances, health. Whatever is going on in your life, he knows about it. Turn to him. Be anxious for nothing. Give all, give it all over to him in prayer. Leave it with him with a heart of thanksgiving. Thank you, Father, for what you're going to do. And his peace that surpasses all understanding will guard your heart and minds through our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Beautiful Holy Spirit, you're the power toward us who believe touch or those who are watching this video right now Ooh, let your power fall upon them now there we go quicken them to receive this message from the father quicken them to hear the truth set them free from the lies and deceptions of the enemy that they've been abandoned rejected not wanted let them hear the truth let them have a hope let them walk by faith Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Cause them to overcome. Get the victory and the triumph. Comfort them, console your children. Help them, please, Holy Spirit, to keep their gaze on the Lord Jesus, to keep their minds, their hearts, their attentions, their eyes on him. Not to be distracted not to look to something else, but to look to him, to look to the Father, who showed his love for them through his Son, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Touch them fresh, fill them to overflow, overflow. Have your way, Holy Spirit. All those who are watching right now, have your way. God bless you. i see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.